glass, rusty bikes, abandoned appliances. Apparently that was the last time anyone was up here until yesterday. You mean you planted this garden by yourself in one day? Well, super speed helps. James, we were frolicking on a roof garden sipping mojitos. Could you try not to look so miserable? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just reading the internet and there's so many people tweeting hate at the same time praising Guardian. Okay, well, the internet's accessible. You shouldn't read it. You know, I should make a public statement and disavow any connection to these people. Any statement will validate the trolls, okay? Besides, all press is good press. I don't see how hate groups praising Guardian could be good press. Now you see, I can, all right? These are people that never would have read CatCo. And now because of Guardian, they do. You've unwittingly crossed the divide, and that is the way to affect change. Maybe you're right. Nina's always right. Mm-hmm. Very sagacious. Little boxes. Brainy, how many of those have you had to drink? The ginger juice? Uh-huh. Twelve. You see, James, the ginger mm. root kicks the booty of the immune system. Mm. It also strangely makes the roof spin. <laughs> Long live the Legion. Well, it's nice to see you so happy, Carl. Well, the sun is shining. The, look, the Darasa flower is even blooming. What is there to be upset about? Um, Haley starts working full-time the DEO tomorrow. Got it. That's, that's a good reason. She's explicitly here to curtail my authority. I mean, she's gonna make my life a nightmare. Speaking of nightmares, guys, so Brainy's drunk. Oh. He thought the mojitos were a vegetable juice. Did someone say mojitos at brunch? Sounds like my kind of party. Nia, yeah, I'm so glad you made it. Uh, everyone, this is Nia. Oh. These are my people, John. This is Lena, that's Hello. my sister, Alex. Hi. Well, CatCo's newest edition. It's very nice to finally meet you. We've heard a lot about you. All good things, I hope. Well, James said your passion for making the world a better place is matched only by the elegance of your prose, so... I wish I could say I paid him, but I could not have made that up. Well, I guess you should state the compliment then, huh? Where's Brady? Uh, he actually is passed out under an azalea tree, so... Okay, I'll go find him. Yeah. <laughs> and as long as I'm dishing out compliments, I want to commend Kara for lending you an interview with Amade Deros, who has not given one in over 20 years. <laughs> Thank you, but I, I think John should get the credit on that one. Amade is a friend, but it was hearing why you wanted to talk to convince them to do the interview. Uh, who is this Amade? An alien healer. He's devoted his entire life to helping aliens spiritually and physically. Uh, the interview's tomorrow, but I could use someone's help to get the perspective of his acolytes. I would love to. Well, I woke him and apparently he's fine. One of my superior capabilities is recovering from alcohol libation with remarkable speed. Are there any more scones left? You know. You two know each other? Well, we met once at a pizza place. You know, you never found me. But of course I did. Your address is 775 Gladiola Drive, second floor corner apartment. Your phone number is 555-8010. You stop at Bob's Diner every morning and order an extra super large coffee. Milk. No sugar. Okay, yes. That He's not nearly as stalkery as that just all came out as. <laughs> well, why didn't you call? You told me to find you, not call you. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast. Here, uh, a toast to, to good friends, new and old, to health and happiness and basking in the sunshine. Health and happiness. <laughs>